Here I stand. Here I stand. Here I stand. So the world was watching when the stage was set for the Imperial Diet at Worms, and Luther came into the hall, and Hollywood would have Luther marched in to the judgment hall, stood there alone as the center of attention, as the gallery, the crowds of princes of the church and princes of the state peered down at him from their lofty seats, and the inquisitor stood up and read the charges and pointed to the books that were on the table next to Luther, and they said, Martin Luther, will you recant of these writings? And the Hollywood version is this. The Luther looked up into the gallery and he saw the representatives of the, of the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and he saw the princes of Germany and he saw the bishops and the representatives from the Curia in Rome and he said, unless I am convinced by sacred scripture or by evident reason, I will not recant. For my conscience is held captive by the word of God and act against conscience neither right nor safe. Here I stand, God help me, I can do no other. Boom! And on with the Reformation. It's not how it happened. At that moment in church history, when the question was put to Martin Luther, Martin Luther, will you recant? Do you know what he said? He answered the question and nobody in the hall could hear what he said. They said, what do you say? What do you say? Speak up, Luther. What did you say? Will you recant of these writings? And he looked at the authorities and he said, could I have 24 hours to think it over? He didn't know if he was right. And he was granted the additional time. And he retired to his cell for private prayer and meditation. And he wrote a prayer that night, which has survived to this day. And I'd like to read a portion of that prayer to you so that you can get a feeling for the anguish of soul that Martin Luther endured the night before the final verdict. For Luther, this was a private Gethsemane. And he prayed like this, O oh God, Almighty God everlasting, how dreadful is the world. Behold how its mouth opens to swallow me up and how small is my faith in thee. Oh, the weakness of the flesh and the power of Satan. If I am to depend upon any strength in this world, all is over. The knell is struck, sentence is gone forth. O oh God, O oh God, O oh Thou my God, help me against all the wisdom of this world. Do, thee, I, do this, I beseech Thee. Thou shouldest do this by Thine own mighty power. For the work is not mine, but Thine. I have no business here. I have nothing to contend for with these great men of the world. I would gladly pass my days in happiness and peace but the cause is yours. And it is righteous and everlasting, O oh Lord, help me, O oh faithful and unchangeable God. I lean not upon man. It were vain. Whatever of man is of man is tottering. Whatever proceeds from him must fail. My God, my God, dost thou not hear? My God, art thou no longer living? Nay, thou canst not die. Thou dost but hide thyself. Thou hast chosen me for this work. I know it. Therefore, O oh God, accomplish thine own will and forsake me not for the sake of thy well-beloved Son, Jesus Christ, my defense, my buckler, my stronghold. And it goes on like this. And on the morrow, when Luther returned to the hall at the Diet of Worms, and again the inquisitor put the question to him. He said, Brother Martin, will you now recant of these teachings? And again Luther hesitated for a moment. And he said, 
unless I'm convinced by sacred scripture or by evident reason. Don't you see, I can't recant. My, my conscience is held captive by the Word of God. And to act against conscience is neither right nor safe. Here I stand. I can't do anything else. God help. Here I stand. 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 Here I stand.